welcome to another video of Mythbuster Raid 2. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about Thief this time. We're getting close to free to play uh, release or Car Car Island and every other things that are going to be released on the free to play official release. Uh, we're still in head start uh, for the founders package. I decided to level up my Thief, it's now level 50. I had a lot of trouble deciding what kind of build I would want. Uh, there's two different builds, but there's also a sort of hybrid build if you decide to you know, go through that with your leveling path. So, go going off with the stats, you go for luck, that's all you need to do. Crit is not really necessarily because you either focus on doing poison damage or you know physical damage. So for skill builds, uh, I reset mine right now for the showcase. I'll be talking a little bit more about leveling part. So leveling up, you're gonna be stuck with these two skills. So double slash and poison energy is gonna be at one no matter what. Uh, have them on your hotbar. They're really really good skills. Um, for the beginning, uh, once you're out of the tutorial, you're gonna have one kick at least. And then you're gonna build up on the edge, poison edge, add it up a little bit. Same thing with the kick. And this is gonna be your main skill. You don't have to worry about the cunning part. Cunning is uh, an ability that procs every 7% uh, at level 1. It goes up to 16% when you max double slash. That's for later on, I would recommend, but right now uh, you can avoid it and just go for high damage as possible, and that's Kick and Poison Edge. Uh, later on you get Mindbreaker, which is um, an upgraded version from the Mind Stealer, which is a dash attack. Uh, this is going to be somewhat useful at early level, but not something you would want to max out or be focusing on. Uh, cunning Tactics is the effect or active skill that gives you the buff that you have from Double Slash that has a proc. So having this skill at level 1 at least, it doesn't change anything if you spend it on it. If you do want to go down the path, you do need to spend it on the Cunning Tactics. However, for this build, we're skipping um, everything that's down below on this path. We're only having it for the effect. And for this skill it gives you 20 spirit when you use it and you get cunning for 5 seconds. And with cunning you will be able to you know, plan ahead on what you want to do. For example, you use cunning tactics and then somersault kick. With somersault kick being uh, enhanced, it does a stun. And this is an uh, AoE damage uh, when you kick someone. Or if you don't want to use the uh, stun or if it's a boss that you're fighting, you use Cunning Tactics and then you use Poison Edge. And with Poison Edge, it will make all your attacks that you do or that you perform with uh, to stack 5 poison. So if you miss one of the attacks, it's always gonna have less stacks of poison. But if you hit all of the attacks with Poison Edge, you're gonna put 5 stacks of poison on the enemy. Really good import and important skill, which is better than that we have right now at low level with Double Slash. But uh, we'll be continuing on. Uh, you do want to spend a little bit more later on to level 3 on double slash and start to level up your poison vial. So, leveling up poison vial and leveling up your kick, leveling up your you know, poison edge, and so on, you're gonna end up having a somewhat uh, a build around this. Um, where you have poison vial, where you throw it, no matter what, it will put a poison buff, uh, debuff on them. It will take for 10 seconds, so it's free damage for you. And then you stack with the poison edge with the cunning. That's two uh, two dots or two poisons that the enemy is taking down, and then you can somersault kick them uh, for a really high damage. And. Um, and later on, I was a little bit confused. This was in the mid levels. I was trying out vicious cuts. It wasn't really that amazing, so I just ignored it and spent a little bit more on the double slash. But very, very late on, when you get to level 34, when you really reach the excelling point of a thief, this is where the game changes a lot. So when you do reach level 34, you're gonna have to spend 
or remove most of the abilities. Spend it on double slash instead. Reset your, all your uh, skills. Go down to the haste path. You're gonna be at this part where you can't spend it because you need 36. But just having it level one is already good enough. But having the haste and double slash, you're gonna be able to uh, proc this so fast that you get you keep getting cunning. Uh, so that means that you can do um, vicious cuts build now. And with vicious cuts build, uh, every time you proc with the cunning, uh, this skill does double the damage. And double the damage means more DPS. Uh, obviously, it's a four hit, I believe. Well, actually, it's a five hit combo, and it's double the damage. That's a huge, a lot of like a really, really a lot of damage in comparison to having poison, which only takes for one K per hit uh, per second. And with vicious cuts, you're doing roughly two K to three K per hit if you have the enhanced version with the cunning. So playing this style is gonna make you more of a stabby stabby person rather than throwing poison and you know make watching the enemy die slowly. So I would prefer the cutting build right now over the poison build. And I did some testing, I feel like the poison doesn't really do well enough for me to actually be uh, better, you know, choose something over that because Anything on the right side is currently the metal. I know I wanna make a build like as I did with Berserker, you know, having a void, void slash build and a groundbreaker build. But unfortunately, for Thief, the only viable build right now, before you know, awakening or any buffs that they will get, is the right path. So, without any further ado, you just keep spending every points that you have on the right side, keep maxing everything out. And uh, you should be good enough to have some remaining points. So I do have three points remaining over here. Uh, and you may wonder why am I not spending anything on Mindbreaker? Because Mindbreaker is only going to be there for the prerequisites for every other skill that you can max out at level 50. This skill, Deft Competent, um, increases your kick and your vicious cuts so you literally have kick and vicious cuts as your main dps you have your double slash that you proc every now and then and then uh, you mind break whenever you need to dodge an attack and you have your haste which gives you 21 percent of increased movement speed attack speed and then 16 percent physical attack that's quite a lot of stats or percentage of good stuff for your thief uh, but yeah at the end of the day, you are going to have roughly three points remaining. What you do is, you do want to spend it on Quick Step 2, and then the last point on Mesoscard Plus. So, you may wonder, why do you want Mesoscard Plus? And it's going to cost you money, you don't want to use money to you know, protect or reduce the damage. The cunning version of this, which is I'm going to sh uh, show you guys, I'm just going to place these skills where I'm most comfortable with. Let's see. We got there, there, okay. So, on the Mesos Guard Plus, it will tell you that oh, it's gonna use up 777 Mesos to create a Mesos Shield that lasts for uh, four seconds and reduce the damage. Now, if you use a Cunning Tactics, which we can showcase now, Hover your mouse, you get Mesos Guard plus X. So what it does is, it doesn't cost anything now. It's an improved version. So it gives you a shield that uh, surrounds you for 12 seconds instead. Reduces damage, but you also gain 11% of more DPS or damage in general. So this is a good buff that you can use in, combina uh, in combination of Cunning Tactics. Um, combine that with Haste. For example, you're going to be hitting really fast, and then you know you're going to dish out a lot of damage within the uh, 11 seconds that you have with Mesa Guard Plus. So doing this again, you can check on Somersault, for example. All the skills that has a thing that you know, spins around them usually means it's an enhanced version. So Somersault, Kick X. The only difference here is you get a stun 
nothing important about it. There's no damage increase or anything, but it's very good when you're leveling. So keep making the Somersault X uh, because the stun is really, really useful. Now going down to Poison Edge X, you get the enhanced version. Uh, at the very beginning, if you don't have the X version or the enhanced version, it will only tell you about uh, it's doing a 5 hit combo for 68 damage. But over here it says the 5th hit deals 72% poison damage and moves you, which is also part of the combo. However, at the bottom or in the middle of the text it says your dagger poison the target for an additional 11% poison damage every 30 seconds. Uh, every second for 30 seconds on each hit of the skill. So your max skill hits is 5 and that's going to stack up to 5 and they're going to take 55% more damage from the poison damage. Really good skill to fill in uh, whenever you want to stack some poison on the enemy. I'd still keep it at level 1 because I do not have any extra trophies uh, to... or I don't have any extra skill points from the trophies to spend anything else on. But it would be a viable build, for example, uh, if I do have the six extra skill points, I'd spend it on Mesogard Plus to max it out as soon as possible for even more damage. Uh, maybe Haste, no, actually we can max Haste, but yeah, Mesogard Plus to max it out as soon as possible. Try to get Poison Edge at 3, and then try to get the very last skill point on Poison Vial 1. And with this, you're going to be able to stack poison, you're going to be able to cut the enemy really fast, you're going to have your haste, you're going to have your kick, which is improved by the deft combatant. It's pretty much all in one kit, so going poison path, in my opinion, is not going to do you anything good, uh, unless you really want to slack on the DPS. So anything on the right side right now is really good, the 6 extra skill points, Try to aim for extra poison if you want to be a little bit more active as a thief. But I would recommend maxing out Mr. God Plus, in my opinion. My so, for the last skill regarding Vicious Cuts, it says over here, uh, it doesn't really say much. It only shows you 124% damage 5 times to 3 enemies uh, on the enhanced version. And then on the regular one, it's 62%. So, you do get double the amount, uh, which means <coughs> all your extra DPS, once you stacked enough poison edge on an enemy, once you used a uh, regular somersault kick or used up your you know, cunning with the Mesoguard plus, you're going to be using vicious cuts instead for your procs. Now for dashing, you obviously have it on a cooldown, it's 3 second cooldown, you won't be able to dash. So what you have is you have your quick step because you went down the path for Mesogard Plus. You have your quick step now to utilize your stamina. And this skill is pretty good because you can do this to travel really quickly. So let's showcase from the top. That's a lot of dashes and you just keep spamming it. Just make sure that you're facing to the direction or your back is facing to a direction you want to dodge towards to. So that's a way for you to utilize your stamina if your mind sliver is gone uh, on global cooldown. So time for the rotation I guess if you're learning about um, how to play a thief I would say pop your haste first use cunning tactics and then go mesogod plus for the damage increase. Once you have these two buffs up you wanna go for somersault kick to make it go on uh, cooldown and then start to slash them quickly with the double slash until you proc the cunning again use the poison edge this time to stack up the five poison refresh with the somersault kick and then go with vicious cut and fill in between double slash and vicious cut so here's the showcase on this paste Mesoscourge, Somersault Kick, Stab, 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 get the prop, do the Poison Edge, Stab, 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 and then when you have enough Stamina or Stiberit, you will be using your Vicious Cut. But since I'm not hitting anything, your Haste is gonna drain your Spirit all the time. So make sure to always make that you're hitting the enemy so you regain more Spirit over the time. 
Alright, so that's all I have to say and all I have to share about the builds. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content I'm sharing. Uh, I'll be covering up a little bit more about the other builds, uh, I mean other classes uh, with builds and such. If there's any more questions regarding Thief, I'm not a pro, I just got recently to 50. Uh, but this is how I felt like it was the most useful for me and the best way for me to level up and having the uh, perfect setup for myself to, you know, play around with the rotations that I have. Uh, it's a little bit hard and difficult if you're playing Thief as your first class, but it's a very good, fun class to play. However, I would say every other classes are so much easier and you can DPS the same amount as a Thief. Please, next on, buff Thief and make them uh, stronger because this class is a really, really fun class and it shouldn't be, you know, a high-skilled uh, cap to play with. But yeah, I'm gonna go off. It's very late. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.